Well, here we are again. This is Brother Peter with tidbits from the Word. So proud to be with you. Uh, we are in the Word, in the Word. The Word is the Bible. The Bible right here. The Bible, this is one of my old Bibles, well studied. Uh, this is another one of my Bibles right here that, that I'm using. I have in front of me. And then I have a, another big book in front of me this morning sitting down here. It's called a Strong's Concordance. And if you are going to be a Bible studier, you are going to need some good books. Now, you know what has baffled me for years? That uh, many, many people who have asked the Lord actually really meant it and said, God, I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sin. Commend my heart and save my soul. But have never got unto good Bible teaching. And never got under good Bible preaching. Do you know the Lord said, when I save you, when I come into your heart, you are set apart for me. And if you're set apart for me, I want you to start learning what I've left you to learn. And that is this word of God. The word of God is God himself, if you please left behind for us to study. Now, the Bible was written over uh, a period of uh, 1,600 years by 40-some authors who the power of the Holy Spirit came on, and then it was closed. And when it got closed, it closed completely never to be added to again and has never been added to by the way when john closed the book of revelations no other book has ever come up it is a closed book all the statements everything that's in it everything that's prophesied everything that's uh, told to us is finished it's, there's nothing else to add to it and there's not a thing in the world you can take away from it it's finished and that's it and because of that we have the whole Word of God in our hands before us we don't have to look at other books even though other help books are good but we do not have to have any other book than this book to be saved by and to follow by the way there are many 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 chapters in this very book you could take the one chapter get saved by that chapter follow that chapter you could learn how to live from day to day your whole life and everything as a matter of fact there are almost just single verses that you could do that with yet god gave us a great witness in the Old Testament is the witness for us people who are living in the church dispensation. We are in the church dispensation. The dispensation of the church of Jesus Christ and the living God. That's the dispensation we're living in. Now, the Bible age, the age of when the Bible was being written in that dispensation was a different dispensation. And those folks that were in the Old Testament lived by the law of God in the Old Testament. And then when grace came in the New Testament, they had to use some of that law to have the picture of how depraved man really was and how he needed a Savior. Now, we're going over first thing to today in the book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 1. Now, the book of Revelation is the revealing of what the whole Bible says. And that's right at the very end of it. And it's going to tell us that it's going to reveal to us what the Bible has been saying to us all the time and what we can look for in the end time and what we can look for in for eternity and it's going to give us some explanation to where when we go into eternity uh, how we're going to spend 
that time and where it's going to be and it points us back now there is a law in the Bible that you need to follow when you're studying a study principle and study law which is called the law of the first mention the first time a word is mentioned in the Bible is the setting for that word now look at uh, Revelations chapter 1 it said the revelation of Jesus Christ the revelation so what is the revelation it's the revelation of Jesus Christ <laughs> could it be any plainer could it be any simpler could it be any more common could it be any more anything could you what do you not understand about this statement the revelation of Jesus Christ now some Bibles say the revelation of John divine which my Bible right on the very top says the revelation of John divine it's really the revelation of Jesus Christ but it was revealed through the man named John <clears throat> and what was divine about John well the same thing that was divine about John is the same thing that's divine about you and I and that's that we're saved and when you get saved you come divine to God that means that you're uh, set apart and you're uh, given over to God now it says here the revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him to show unto his servants now we're coming down to a breaking point this is the dividing line. It's to show to his servants. If you're not one of his servants, you cannot sit in a beer joint and tell people what the Bible says. Because if you're not one of his servants, you do not know what the Bible says. You can see the words, you can read the words, but you cannot, can not have the understanding of those words. That's a fact that's a fact that's a fact an unchangeable fact is that a lost man cannot understand this book it is a hidden book if you please the Bible is a love letter to the Christian who is a Christian by the way we use this word too lightly many times Christian means Christ like are you like Christ do you pray to the Father God like Christ did do you treat your neighbor like Christ did do you live like Christ did are you Christ like any way shape or form in your life or do you still act like the world do people know that are around you that you're different do they know that you've asked Jesus forgive you of your sin come in your heart and save your soul do they know that there's something different about you or do they just see another everyday Joe that says that he's a Christian or says that he got saved or says he followed God but in their eyes you're acting hypocritical and you're a hypocrite uh, if you're not truly saved you're a true hypocrite a true hypocrite is one who pretends to be what he isn't okay let's go back now and he said to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John God sent and Jesus Christ sent an angel to John to tell John what to pin down and what to say in this last book in the Bible now John could not have pinned down what he pinned down and written in this book had it not been a complete revelation from God the Father 
And it came to him through 